all, I'm the gaming people, and welcome to another episode of Jurassic World the Game, where today I'm not wearing a t-shirt. Oh, and you, but am I? You don't know. I could be lying. Anyway, we are back because it's so hot. I mean, it's a glacier episode, right? So it, it's boiling. We need to get in the nip. So today, um, I'm hoping this is right because um, our beautiful Sam on the Facebook group teased a picture because he gets the events like a day early uh, showing us what was happening and I think it is that's right it's the sloth the ermetherium and now I think this is the last glacier creature I need um, well technically because we do have all of the glacier creatures but we haven't unlocked them all we got the marsupial lion I got the, uh, the sloth as well also there's like what's the Cenozoic pack plus so I think you win, you win more DNA. I think that's what that said. Let's have a look at the news. Ice Age DNA for the cost of a Glacier Plus pack and get 50% more DNA. Well, you know what it is, right? If it's the same as legendary packs and you get 50% more DNA, that means it's just a normal pack because the legendary packs got nerfed not too long ago and losing half their DNA. So if it says plus 50%, it's a lie. It means it's normal. <laughs> so just get that. And just get more DNA. Check the trade harbor. See if there's anything in there for me. Nope. No, there's not. And what a, what a beautiful serenade. I'm sorry. Sorry to grace your ears with my amazing singing prowess. So we've got Majunga Sauce, which you can speed up for free. I don't know how long that's going to last for. Just um, if it's something that speeds up really quick, it's almost instantaneous, dear. So, um, yeah, glacier creatures. We have 11 out of 13. Uh, we need the marsupial lion and the ermethrim. We already have the other really big sloth. We have this guy. We got it in the live stream. I still need to put that video up, actually. Um, I will, I will. I just need to get around to doing a thumbnail. I've been really busy recently. Moving house and all that jazz. I know, I know. I haven't forgotten. You're still here. You're, I love you. Oh, don't you yawn. Oh, he's such a goodie. So, let's go in. Uh, it should be the... Uh, aquatic, shouldn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, let's kick some butt. Um, the yeah, the recent yeah, reef, reef spot against cave. So we need cave, and then yeah, that can do it. I think that can do it. Oh, we kill Coronasaur instantly. Whoopa! That kills like well, like Plurodon can die in almost one hit. Ah, damn it! Well, we need to get this thing to level forty. Sod it. I want to do that. I want to do that, but I need it for like. Oh no, because the, th the thumbnail's gonna be the sloth. I want the Orden Catfish to be its own thumbnail. So I'm gonna go for um, two reserves. Or oh, Orthocanthus, you know. I like to nickname things. I'm a freak, okay? <laughs> right, let's go for four reserves, one block. Uh, I'm, I'm normal, I swear. Um, <laughs> oh dear. I'll tell you what, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring this up because I don't know whether the person um, is watching this video or not. But I was. I was. I was at a place where you buy stuff, Reed, and I was on a bench outside. I was sitting with Whitney, and uh, this kid uh, came across. He was with his brother and his dad, and as he went past us, he sort of looked at me, and, um, you know, just because people do look at things. <laughs> but as he walked away, he kept on, like, turning back, and then he took, like, his brother turned around, and then after that, and his dad turned around, but they kept on carrying walk, like, carry on walking away. Um, and I was like, oh, Winnie was like, I think that kid recognizes you. <laughs> um, but that's the thing, like, it's, it's weird, sort of, oh, it is him, I'll go over and talk. I mean, if, if somebody did that in public, I'd be perfectly fine with it, if any of you guys saw me. Um, don't, don't be shy, say hello. But, uh, yeah, I was like, oh, he knows who I am. But it's got, it, like, it doesn't happen recently. But when, like, Jurassic World came out, it would happen, like, all the time. And I'd always think, Does, do they know me? Or, you know, are they looking at something behind me? And I can't make the first move. I can't be like, hey, I am that guy you think I am. Because <laughs> then I'm like, I am look like I'm up me bum. You got my finger up me bum. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Anyway. Um, so I, I can't be like, oh, yeah, it's me. So if people, do, like, make the first move, then, yeah. Damn it! Oh, you know I'm gonna do one hit anyway. Kyo! You need to get monogamous level 40 as well. I said every time I use these creatures because they're so good. Monogamous level th level 40 would be amazing, but at the moment it's kind of a waste of DNA because I don't need it. I don't need it. Ooh, you go for a hit, son. You go for a smack. 
while I smack of you up, boy. Bam! <laughs> 1,200. Yeah, well, you've got two creatures almost down and out. He's going to go for one hit. He does. He goes for the one hit. Bonongamus is dead, but, it, you know, it took out. It did take out two of them. So, uh, basically, because now uh, Hanodis... Is it Hanodis? Yeah, it is Hanodis. Pancake! Go for one hit, two reserves, and then he can go also for one hit and two reserves on you again. If it decides to attack, we'll see. Ooh. Ooh, what you going to do? You're gonna go for two block? Oh, it's always, like, it's always safe. He went for one, which means we went for one too many. But it's always, you know, I'd rather kill them than just not kill them. And, you know, uh, then they have, like, an extra creature, get reserves up, and yada, yada, yada. Me Basically, try and kill them if you can. Always go for the safe bet. I would say factoring in two of their blocks, if they've got more than two, um, is safe, I would say. If you, if you factor in only one block and they go for two, you'll kick yourself. Because <laughs> if I lost this, then Belongamus is used, uh, Eumunosaurus is used, and I'd have to wait ages for them to come back. And I think this is the last one, is it? I think it is. I could be wrong, though. Hold on. We'll find out. I feel like, no, no. We used all the Canthus last time. This time we used Belongamus, so we've got one more to do. <laughs> yep, there we go. 50, so it's 100 DNA. And for the pack... Ooh, Plotus, yeah, yeah, you save, you save your besties for me. Come on then, son. He's gonna switch into Archelon, and we don't have a good cave to take it on. Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, don't make me nervous. Yes, that's right, go for your block. <laughs> As if Hanodas could talk. <laughs> oh, oh, this ain't good. This ain't good. One, two. Uh, which does kill him, actually. Factor in two extra and then two block. Yes! Beautiful! Bam! Now, Plotosaurus had loads of attack. 500. Uh, Adustus only has 299. Um, does have four. Can't hurt me, really. Switches out, so loses a turn as well. And then brings in Archelon, who does not even go for an attack. So what I want to do now is switch in Tyler Sal and go for three reserves. Because he went for two block, which means he's got five, I think. He's got five. And he can kill me in two, which means he should go for full-on five. He does go for the full-on five. <gasps> Kills me, and that's pretty much game, set, match. Because um, he's got nothing, and we've got seven. Sieben, eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, six, sieben, acht, neun, zehn, elf, zwölf, drei, zehn, vier, zehn. Yeah, I know German, Hey, Let's do the can-can. No, that's not German dance. What is it called? <laughs> I know the Oompa band. That's German, isn't it? I feel like that's German. I could be I could be wrong there. I like, could be like Norwegian or something. Hmm. Anyway, let's do a German dance. Hey! <laughs> right, let's go for it. For, let's just swiftly move on before we offend any more Germans. <laughs> oh, okay. hey, come on. Do your spinny attack. I'm trying to remember what what is it in um, French? Because in in high school here, uh, you take French one year, you take German, or when I was in school anyway, you took French one year, then you switch the next year for German, and then, so you did, I think it was you did French for two years, German for two years, and then you got to choose. You're seven, you're eight, you're nine, you're ten, and then eleven. Maybe, I don't know. It could be something like that. But anyway, here we go. Ermithium! And, ooh, 300 bucks, that's okay, I suppose. It's gonna, that, that'll buy back for speeding it up. Really, it, it's a super rare. I feel like that's wrong. I think it's a, it's a rare, actually. Something, something's not right here. Ermithium is now available to purchase inside the Dynamark. Well, actually, maybe it is a super rare. Maybe it was a rare on the prize wheel, and that's where they got wrong. Possible. It's a possibility. So, let's go and unlock him, shall we? Oh, speed up, you, uh, you precious little thing, Lanqua. Oh, crikey! <laughs> Just go proper, like, um, book teeth English. Um, pip, pip, cheerio! <laughs> oh, here he comes! The sloth! <laughs> Kill me! <laughs> and there he is, little cutie. Oh, he's got long, like, two claws. So this is, of course, the same animation as, um, not a Lasmotherium, because that is a rhino. Uh, what's the other one called? They should be right next to each other. Megatherium. Ooh. So let's feed him. It probably just eats the trees. If you guys haven't seen it, because it has, it's not in a video, this is its animation. He sort of gets up and goes on. 
They're so cute. They're so slow. And like they, they still sort of scratch their armpits and sniff their fingers. I think. I think. Uh, I know they definitely scratch. And they yawn as well. Oh, man. Imagine if these things still existed. There's got to be a way of cloning them. There's got to be. Because they they went extinct not too long ago. So, maybe is it in the past 10,000 years? Maybe. There's like a hunt for, um... Tell you what, son. We'll get you to level 10. And we'll buy another seven of you. There you go. And I'll keep on buying you back. And we'll get you max to see what you look like. Um... Yeah, there was, the, you know, the um, Tasmanian tiger, which was um, inhabited. Tasmania, would you believe, I think. I could be wrong, actually, there, but I think you do. I think it did. Um, ooh, evolve. Oh, look at him sit there. He's so good. Bad time with this lot. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what Best and Salt's intro is. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Speed up and get close up. <laughs> beautiful. Yeah, if you speed up, you actually like get really close to it. Like otherwise, it's quite far away and you zoom in, but if you do that, you get to see it really close. Beautiful. Pretty. He's pretty full. Uh, I know that he like he started playing it again. It's quite funny actually, quite a few channels have tried to like Oh yeah, Jurassic World's a thing. The hype train's going. Let's go in Jurassic World! <laughs> um, but yeah, he wanted a slot, so I mean, this is the perfect opportunity for him if he, if he does want one. Um, and of course, everybody else out there. So, we got one more to get, and there you go. It didn't, we were over 300,000 DNA. Now, this isn't, I mean, we're not going to need it, really, because there's not that many events for it. And even if we do the, um, the Cenozoic and land creatures, there's no point. You might as well just put in your land creatures, because these aren't too great. The only good, um, Cenozoic creature is the mammoth at the moment. So, we just got, I mean, it's, really what this has hit is my bugs. Um, we, we did get over 40,000 not too long ago. So, I'm happy to go under 40,000. And I'm happy to go under 300,000 uh, DNA. So, speed you up. What do you look like? Level 20. Uh, you've got some patterns on your back. And apparently, you're, 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 a, you're a mute now. <laughs> I don't talk anymore. Right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, that's the only thing. Come on, girl. I'm doing John Hammond here. Um, the only thing with the Cenozoic creatures is there's really no point in them. Like, apart from them looking really pretty, because they do look awesome. I feel like you get it and then you don't use it. I mean, you can use it in the Cenozoic. Um, oh, look. You can see the thing. You can see the underground for some reason. The camera's like too zoomed in. I like what they've done. It's like some some lab scientist has run away and then turned around and went, oh, we need to look at it for footage. It's like a life. If we die, <laughs> this is how we died. It was the big slot. Um, but yeah, there's no reason for it. If you do want to do the Santa's Oregon land, just do land because you've got plenty of creatures of the land. Um, so I don't know how they could make it so your glazer creatures are actually worth it. <laughs> right now, not really much of a, not, not much of a, um, of a need for them, I've got to admit. Apart from saying I have the sloth and the way they look. Because they look really cool. Who doesn't? Because these it goes as far as like this game goes. You start with land creatures. And then you finally unlock uh, aquatic creatures. And then after that, you, you can use your aquatic creatures. Qu you could use your aquatic creatures to unlock. <laughs> to unlock the glacier creatures. Or the Cenozoic creatures. Um, so here we go. Level 30. I'm guessing he's gonna go white. I feel like he's gonna go white. I've seen Megatherium at level 40 and it grows horns. <laughs> it turns into like a goat sloth. Really, really strange. But uh, hey, that's what they'll do. That's what they do. So we're gonna use it in the Cenozoican land because there is no um, sort of vent right now for glacier creatures, which is, it's like something called a chill is in the air or something like that. There he is. So, 650, I haven't even looked at the stats, actually. It can't kill itself in two hits, so it's, it's about average, I would say. Uh, as far as glacier creatures go, um, <laughs> they always kill themselves. Oh, he's got a big head. Like Megatherium. Megatherium's got a very round head. Ooh. Interesting to see what this looks like. I love him just there. He's also just in a little tube, bathing away. I need to make that tube. I do. I really do need to make, like, some sort of glass tube and have an Indominus Rex sculpt just sort of, like, hanging there. That would look so cool. And then if we can make the glass blue, 
Because you don't want to put liquid, liquid in there, because it's inevitable it's going to freaking fall over. Oh, that'd be awesome. Oh, he's got a proper back on him. Ooh. Awesome, let's see him. <laughs> Hello. He's got mad eyebrows, if we can zoom in. Yeah, look at that. Look at them eyebrows. <laughs> Itchy. He's got a sniff? Yeah, there he is. When he doesn't sniff, he sort of looks at himself. Oh, he's just a big lump. A big fluffy lump with a tail. Oh, he's adorable. Go on, go eat. Get your num yums. Oh, there's something weird and glitchy happened. If you look at those, the branches that are in front of the ceiling, when they move, or the camera moves, it looks so trippy. It leaves like a trail. Oh! <laughs> there he goes to level 40. So 1,000 health, 359 attack. We'll have a look, actually, because I think all of the super rare glacier creatures cost 2,000 DNA. I could be wrong, but I think they do. Yeah, 2,000, 2,000, 2,000. Uh, yeah, they're all exactly 2,000. That's quite cool. Huh. Do all of them cost, like, cost the same much? I'm just looking for... I mean, 5,000 for Nucatherium, 10,000 for the Mammoth, respectively, because the Mammoth is really good. We do have the Marsupial Lion to hatch as well. <gasps> Should we do that? We could get the bear as well. Yeah, let's let's hatch the bear. Let's just have a whole glacier episode here. That'd be awesome. Because we need to get the bear to level 20. <laughs> I'm all up a buddy. Sarcastodon. Ooh. What does it eat again? Does it eat? Does it, what does it eat? Is it, oh, that's right. It's a fish. I forget. I love that. It's just like, ah! <laughs> Fishing was never easier than that. Aww. Thought it'd be first time. So this is no longer Death Panda. If you remember in Jurassic Park Build Death Panda, this is now Death Honey Badger, I think, if you max it up. It looks like a honey badger rather than a panda. You can have full-on rage mode when he's evolved. So a two star's not going to be very good. Um, but we'll, we'll level him. 200 health and 96 attack. Can't survive a hit from Ermetherium max, but hey, that's all, that's all right. It's only a rare and a two star, so that's okay. But what I'm looking forward to is Mother Marsupial Lion. Where are you, buddy? There you are. So this one I actually won on um, the spin wheel. But Lydia also... Oh, he's still got the same teeth. Oh, that's great. Yeah, there he is. Oh, it kills it the same way as the killer kitty with the spotty putty does. So that... I mean, the reason why it's... Well, it's more super line, which means that it has a pouch. So I think it would have a little baby. And it's little baby we get in the pouchy. But look, that looks really cool, actually. Uh, it, it looks dull, but we are going to see it. Um, level 20, so hopefully I get some more colorings. 285 health, 235 attack. I think it can kill the bear in one hit. Um, so let's speed him up. And 1,100. I uh, don't know why I'm doing this. I could save, but you know, for the for the sake of videos, we've got to do it instantly. I like the teeth on it. It looks really cool. So let's get to level 10. Da, da, da. Oh, that's better. Now it's brown instead of like a dark, just gray color. And again, they're tiny in the test tube. The sloth was pretty big, though. But the little lions, well, my super lion is tiny. <laughs> Beautiful. Let's have a look at you. Still quite dark. He's got ears, though. And let's feed you to level 20, 488 health and 402 attack. So, yep, this thing's all attack. Um... Can kill itself in almost one hit, so yeah, not something you'd want to get hit though, because it's uh, it's health not that great. I mean, if they're, fa they're facing up, each up against each other, whoever gets two hits off wins or two single hits. So let's do the Cenozoic and land in this one because apparently we have like a 10 or 5 percent. What is it? It's like 5 percent, isn't it? Is it 5? Oh, it doesn't say anymore. Great. <laughs> Uh, also, we could, I suppose, we've got three days to think about it, we could max up Presser Sutures. Because Presser Sutures is a really good amphibian, and I would like to have it at level 40, because we've only got one at level 30. But having, an, you know, it to level, like, one at level 40, if I can talk and get the words out, would be much better. So we're just going to do one of these, and hopefully, I think it's 5% chance extra um, of getting a common hybrid. And that's all you can get. You can't get any legendary creatures, it's just common, uh, sorry, hybrids. Um... Not common hybrids, rare hybrids, what am I talking about? Uh, so where are these guys? 
There they are. Awesome. So, it's second best super rare. The second best. But it has like 300 extra health and Smilodon and only 100 less attack. So, if you think about it, that's, pretty, that's a good trade-off. 300 health for 100 less attack. Yeah, I'm happy with it. Although, the Elasmatherium gets about 40 extra health. Uh, sorry, 40 extra attack for 100 less health. So, yeah, I'd probably say Elasmatherium is the best. So, let's go this way. And hopefully, we'll be against some other Cenozo creatures. But who cares? Because, um, oh no, we should have put like the other sloth in. Although, saying that, he'd probably need to be a level 20. Oh, only one land creature. So, we're probably going to... Yeah. I think depending on if you're facing any glacier creatures, they can't be... You, if if it's a full team of land, then you're in the land arena. If it's a, if it's even one glacier creature, you have to be in this arena. Oh, we kill it in one hit! Oh, that's awesome! Bam! Smile down gets its first attack. I wonder what ever happened to that guy that was counting everything that got the kills. Because, um... Yeah, <laughs> he's got to start things with the glacier now. Funny if he finally catches up, like a year later. Ah, damn it. I was hoping we could have killed him there. We could have. Um, two, four. He's probably going to go for three. It's going to happen. I think he's going to go for three. <gasps> no! No! It's going to be all up to um, Ermatherium because we're ac we've got the disadvantage here. The type disadvantage. The type disadvantage. Speak, James. Wet the lips. <laughs> yeah. Three. Oh. Oh. Right, then I'm going to go for four and three block. Oh, he's got seven. Go for a full on seven. Go on. Go on, go on, go on. Yeah, awesome. Mammoth used. Stone edge. Bam. It's not. It's down already. <laughs> awesome. Protect your babies. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna go for like four <laughs> block because Parasaur at level 21. Oh the swipe uppercut. KO Bam. I don't know what its attack is. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Ah, level 21. It is a common hi sorry, it is a super rare hybrid. So yeah, Parasaur is better. But what we're we gonna do here, guys, do we go for full on attack? Three, six, nine, seven, eight. Yo. Do I go for full attack? Ah, sod it. Go on then. Yes, we did it. Awesome. Bah, double cross chop. <laughs> All the Pokemon moves. And then a victory animation, which you haven't seen yet, actually. Oh, no, no. It was actually his um, hatching animation. That's a shame. I was expecting him to go to sleep or something. That'd be really cool. It's like, ah, all done. All took it out. So 40, but because we've paid, it's actually 80. And there you go. Hopefully, guys, you have, I mean, there you go. We've maxed out another uh, Senazo creature. And that is all of them. We have all creatures, all 13 of them. Yeah, not all of them are unlocked. Like the uh, Sarcastodon's not unlocked. The Megatherium's not unlocked. The uh, Megalosaurus is not unlocked. The Marsupial Lion is not unlocked. The, um, is that it? Oh, and also the Amphicoon. Oh, yeah, I forget that Derodon's in, like, a cool little rainforest. Look at the effort that they've put into this game. I really love the fact that, like, so much effort, so much love has been put into this. Like, different bushes, different trees, I think. Um, a different environment completely. We've got, like, we've got the Sahara. We've got the rainforest. We've got the, um, we've got the cave. We've got the plains, I think it is. Where, we, yeah, and then we've got the, this as well. So there is one, two, three. There's four different environments. And as well as all animation. Like, they've put in so much effort into this update. I honestly, like, they've, I love it. That's all I can say. I love it. If you enjoyed this video, guys, I'll stop white whinge and whine whatever I'm doing on. And until next time when I can speak English and form cohesive sentences, which I think makes sense. Yeah, they, 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 um, they stick together, yes. I'll see you later, bye! <laughs>